we begin on page 396. 396. Let the Mount of Olives ring with resounding hymns of praise. The apostles sang with joy when they saw the Lord ascend on clouds of resplendent light with majesty into of Abe and Lily Nader and their sons George and Richard. Please remember the deceased in your prayers. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Jesus Christ our Lord make us worthy to celebrate the feast of your ascension. We raise our pure hearts to you in prayer. Our chaste thought souls to you be filled with grace, and our sincere hearts to you with love. We yearn for that place to which you ascended, so that with the hosts of angels we may glorify and thank you, your Father and your Holy Spirit, forever. Amen. Peace be with the Church and her children. Let us raise glory, honor, and praise to the one who came into the world from the Father. He was hung on the cross, buried in the tomb, and raised from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. To the good one be glory and honor on this feast and all the days of our lives and forever. Christ, by your ascension, you ended your stay on earth, completed your plan of salvation, and returned to the Father to prepare a place for us so that we may be where you are. You taught us the way to the place where you are going and told us to follow you. When Thomas asked you, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? You answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Now, Christ our Savior, we ask you with the fragrance of this incense to walk with us on the way that leads to the Father. Turn our eyes toward him, strengthen our desire to be with him, and guide our steps that we may reach the Father through you and with you. We praise you, your Father and your Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Amen. 
Jesus Christ, our Lord, accept the fragrance of this incense that we have offered to you on the feast of your ascension into heaven. Grant that we may prepare ourselves to receive the Holy Spirit whom you promised to send to us. May we take the places that you have prepared for us in the presence of the Father and meet you in the heavenly kingdom. We praise you, your Father and your living Holy Spirit, forever. Amen. Amen. Padishat Aloha, Padishat Hail Tono, Padishat Lomo Yuto. Except you alone. For even when I was at Thessalonica, you sent me something for my needs, not only once, but more than once. It is not that I am eager for the gift, rather, I am eager for the profit that occurs to your account. I have received full payment, and I am abound. I am very well supplied because of what I have received from you through Aphrodite, a fragrant aroma an acceptable sacrifice pleasing to God. My God 
will fully supply whatever you need in accord with his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father, glory forever and ever. Amen. Give my greetings to every Holy One in Christ Jesus. The brothers who are with me send you their greetings. All the Holy Ones send you their greetings, especially those of Caesar's household. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Praise to be God always. Before the proclamation of the gospel of our Savior, announcing life for our souls, we offer this incense and ask for the mercy of God. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. From the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John, who proclaimed life to the world, let us listen to the proclamation of life and salvation for our souls. Remain silent, O listeners, for the Holy Gospel is about to be proclaimed to you. Listen and give glory and thanks to the Word of the Living God. When Judas had left, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, and as I told you, and I, I, as I told the Jews, where I go, you cannot come. So now I say it to you. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. So you should have that love for one another. This is how all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. This is the truth. Peace be with you. Praise and blessing to Jesus Christ, our Lord and our God, for giving us his words of life. On his final stay, Jesus with his disciples after Judas went to betray him. This is the last time he had to address them before he went into his passion, so to speak, and that was the last commandment he gave them. A commandment of love. The commandment of love was not new to that community at the time, because in the Old Testament, you remember God, gave us the Ten Commandments with Moses. And if we know our faith, we know the Ten Commandments, the first three involve man with God. Love your God before anything else. Honor the Sabbath day. And of course, we have to make sure that all of these commandments deal with God as respect to God himself. The Jews knew that. And the Jews knew the rest of the commandments. We go, commandment number four, honor your father and mother. 
That's the other person. Then, do not kill, do not steal, do not, do not, do not covet your neighbor's property, your neighbor's do not, and so on and so forth. So any kind of offense against these commandments, they are against our fellow man, against humanity. They knew all of that, but Christ here brought it into a higher level of love, made it a different commandment by making, by linking God's love to him and by linking Christ's love to his disciples and asking his disciples to spread the love to the rest of humanity, to the rest of the disciples, so that all will know that you are my disciples through that particular love. And how was that love? That love was granted to all of us, sinners, spontaneously, unconditionally, love without expecting anything in return. Jesus, that's what we call the agape love, the love that has no condition, the love that's not to be sold. Oh, I love my friends, I love my neighbors. Aha, in order for me to get a good cookout at their house, I'll invite them over first. And then I know with the intention that I will go with my friends, love my neighbors. This is not the true Christian love that Christ is talking about here. What did he tell them? And when did Jesus say this? After the Last Supper. What did I do for you? I went and washed your feet. If you love one another, if you want to prove your love to one another, you do it not through words. Anybody can speak. Anybody can say greatest words. Anybody can sell you the Brooklyn Bridge, as they say in America. But it's not, if it doesn't have love, if it doesn't have action, if it doesn't have real facts to accompany it, it doesn't mean anything. Christ could have said, I love humanity, but I don't want to die. He would have said, I love humanity, but I don't want to go down from my lofty throne and become a man and be abused by humanity. I'll stay as a God. Let them fear me. But no. Even though we are unworthy of his love, he came for us. He did it lovingly. He did it spontaneously. He did it sacrificially. He did it unconditionally for all of us. And he obligated it. He obligated us to make that love real for one another. If we are truly to be his disciples, is to show that same love that he had shown us. Love your enemy not just your neighbor, not just your spouse, not just your family, not just the one that who are in your circles, all your co-workers, but love even the one you don't care about, even the one who doesn't care about you. All of these things, my friends, could have been easily said and not being practiced. St. Matthew talks about this love also, but he also makes, gives us the example of the Good Samaritan. That is showing love. The Jews and the Samaritans didn't talk to one another. First a Jew came by, then a lawyer came by, then a priest came by and saw the man about to die. And another man from the other side of the camp, the Samaritan, saw a Jew right there. He had pity on him, he took him, and he treated him with love. Saint Luke tells us, go and do what other people, what you expect other people to do to you. Do you want someone to kill you or kill someone you love? Do you want your spouse? To commit adultery? You don't. 
You want somebody to steal from you, to rob you out of your own work and labor and dedication? Do you want, and so on and so forth. So why go and commit that sin? St. Paul takes it to that, reminds us that those are the commandments. Do what you want others to do to you. This sums up the law and the prophets. St. Paul said it. St. Matthew said it. It is in the Ten Commandments. This is a very wide topic, my friend. We can talk about it forever. But at least you got the gist of it. Love without action. Love without deeds. Love without sacrifice. Does not mean anything. We begin to know what true love is when we have close family connection. We don't know the filial love until we have a father or a mother that depart from this world, maybe. We don't have that special love for our children if we don't have children. We can't feel it. It's not there. But those who have children will know what true love is and what sacrifice is. I love you unconditionally. I'll do anything, even if you don't obey me. That's what Jesus did. Those who did not obey. I know, Jim, you're talking, you're smiling there. This is the unconditional love that God taught us. And with love, there is obedience. You cannot love without obedience. And obedience comes with it. Christ loved God. Christ obeyed God by coming to us. If we love Christ, we ought to obey Christ's command and Christ's sacrifice. At least put it ahead of us so that when we have any kind of love toward others, let it be unconditional and leave the rest up to God because the reward is so great. It is well expressed in the Acts of the Apostles, in the first generation of Christians. Look at those Christians, how they love one another. I hope the world today can look at Christianity and say, look how these Christians love one another. A true sacrificial loving and giving love without any condition. <laughs> On page 748, 748, we believe in one God. The Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made consubstantial the Father, through whom all things were made, for us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, he was incarnate virgin Mary, became man. For our sake he was crucified on Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. He rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. Who the Father and the Son and the Lord of the Lord Christ, who has spoken to the prophets, we believe in our hope and our Son of Church. We confess our baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and we look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Keep the Lord, Marquette, O Hope, O Hope, O Hope, and 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 Hope, and
St. Joseph, her spouse, St. Mary, St. John Mary, St. Cheryl, St. Rafa, St. Namtallah, Blessed Yahoo, Blessed Ustvain, and all the saints. Remember, O God, the children of the Holy Church, our fathers and mothers, our brothers and sisters, both the living and the departed, and especially Yusuf Maroon Mastha, and Abe and Lily Netter and their sons, George and Richard, for whom this sacrifice is offered. Remember also, O Lord, those who share with us this evening in this offering. Amen. Salvation, and he gave us these holy and life-giving mysteries 
Do not look upon us as strangers and do not turn your face away from us because of our many sins. For you alone are the Holy One with your only Son and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Love of God the Father and the grace of the only begotten Son and the communion and indwelling of the Holy Spirit be with you, my brothers and sisters, forever. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our thoughts, our minds, and our hearts. Give thanks to the Lord with reverence and worship Him with humility. Let us to praise you, O Lord of all earth, the powers on high and the heavens where they dwell, glorify you. The fiery ranks exalt you, the cherubim bless you, and the seraphim exalt you. They cry out and proclaim. Forgive our sins, pardon us, and have mercy on your inheritance. For this, your repentant church implores you, and through you and with you, implores your Father, saying, Have mercy on us, Almighty God, have mercy on us. Lord, as we, your sinful children, receive your graces, we thank you for them and because of them. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we profess our faith in you, and we ask you. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us and hear us. How awesome is this moment, my beloved, for the living Holy Spirit 
descends and rests upon this offering for our sanctification. Let us stand with reverence as we pray. Hear us, O Lord, hear us, O Lord, hear us, O Lord. May your living and Holy Spirit come and rest upon us and upon this offering. especially Francis the Pope of Rome, Charabotus Patriarch of Antioch, Gregory our Bishop and all bishops. With them we remember the priests, the deacons, and all those who serve your holy church. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy for the peace and stability of the whole world, for a blessed and prosperous city, for an abundant house, for the sick and the oppressed, for all who call upon your holy name, on land, at sea, or in the air, and who profess that you are the true God, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, those who have presented the offering upon this altar and those who desire to do so but were unable, and grant them their petition, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. We remember all the saints, the fathers, prophets, apostles, martyrs, and confessors, Mary, the mother of God, St. Mary, St. John Mary, St. Charles, St. Rafka, and St. Hardina, and all the saints, the righteous and the just, through their prayers make us worthy to stand among them. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, your grace, those who have left us and have gone to you from the first Christian disciples to this day. They were signed with the seal of baptism and receive the precious body and blood of your Son. They wait for you in life-giving hope. Raise them up on the last day, and in your mercy forgive their sins. Through our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, who is without sin, we hope to find mercy and forgiveness for our sins and for theirs. Grant us pardon, O God, and forgive us and our faithful departed, so that your blessed name may be glorified in us and in all things. With the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and your living Holy Spirit, now and forever. As it was, is now, and shall be forever. Thank you. 
us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, from every death, and we'll raise glory to you now and forever. Amen. And peace be with you. And with your spirits. Now, before the end of our Savior, who give lives to those who partake of them and receive the blessing from the Lord. Lord, your grace and abundant mercy bless those who bow before you. Make us worthy to share in your life-giving mysteries and to join the assembly of your saints, that with them we may raise glory to you, to your only Son and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. The grace of the most holy Trinity, eternal and consubstantial, be with you, my brothers and sisters, forever. Amen. Amen. Your spirit, that each one, uh, that each of one, of us look to God with reverence and humility and ask Him for mercy and compassion. Holy gifts for the holy with perfection, purity, and sanctity. One holy Father, one holy Spirit, one holy Spirit, blessed be the name of the Lord, for He is one in heaven and on earth, to Him be glory forever. Make us worthy, O Lord God, so that our bodies may be sanctified by the holy body. May our souls purify by your living blood. May our clean be in thee for the forgiveness of our sins and for new life. O oh Lord our God, to you be glory forever. Again and again we confess you, O Lord, and raise glory to you for giving us your body to eat, your living blood to drink, O Lord, have mercy on us. O oh, compassion, the merciful one, O oh, Lord, have mercy on us. Amen. Thank you. 
Leave you a peace of holy altar and I hope to return to you in peace. May the offering I have received from you be for the forgiveness of my faults and the remission of my sins. That I may stand without shame or fear before the throne of Christ. I do not know if I shall be able to return to you again to offer another sacrifice. I leave you in peace. Welcome back. It's nice to see people in the pews. For a few months now, I've been saying Mass without faces, actual physical faces, presence in church. It's very inspiring and very rewarding. We thank God for all the things that He sends to us. Even though there are some challenges, let's hope in the future that maybe many good things might come out of this bad virus. In any event, uh, I sent you as an email with the attachment, the uh, standards, uh, the safety standards of the state of Massachusetts, since uh, Governor Baker had opened up the places of worship up to 40%. So we are well below our uh, uh, attendance anyway. So we can always have uh, more people and you can encourage more people to come. But we need to also abide by these standards wear masks, uh, keep uh, our distance, social distancing, and uh, no hand, no handshake in church, no gathering afterwards. As we see, we give the kiss of peace, we greet from a distance, and no further notice. Hopefully, it will be uh, also uh, continuing on, the 5 o'clock Mass and the 11 o'clock Mass. 
we will continue to do so until uh, we are notified otherwise. So we have people who are not able to come yet to church, so we want to make sure they get it. Those of you who are home, be not afraid, we are gonna continue to do the live streaming. Uh, hopefully Matt will continue. Shaikh Matt, you're gonna yeah. continue with us, thank you. Cool. And Michael, Michael and Matt have been a great uh, help. Michael Elias, who is uh, also monitoring the computer, so we can see it both on the computer as well as on Facebook. Thank you guys for doing a great job. Um, we left you with some additional thoughts about what true love is in the bulletin. We don't have a lot of business to talk about, so we can talk a little bit about spirituality, about the, the spirit of the gospel as well. I promise you that we will keep the prayer of spiritual communion and the memorare until the end of May, so hopefully people will be able to come to church after that time. Um, you know, in order to have our church uh, disinfected and uh, well cleaned and everything, it took, uh, takes a lot of support, a lot of effort, a lot of sacrifices. And uh, on the occasion, I would like to thank Therese Abu Zaid, who spearheaded this project. Therese, you and your crew did a superb job. Thank you. We have uh, Amal Ras Allah, Jamie Ayoub, Rosette Yunan, Dola Nasif, and Naila Raful. I hope I didn't forget anybody. Uh, as you can see, they cleansed the pews with soap and everything, the floor, the doors, the entrances, the handles, everything you can think of, they did it. Thank you and God bless you, whatever you are. May God reward you. So hopefully we will gradually open, we'll gradually go back to our uh, normal life, as they call it now, new normal. We'll see what the new normal brings, as long as we stay safe and we stay healthy with our families and loved ones. God bless you and uh, take care of yourself. Hopefully we'll see, continue to see you again. I know this is a uh, Memorial Day weekend. We cannot uh, go without acknowledging those who have died for our freedom and those veterans who have really are still alive that the Lord may continue to give them good health. If you please stand, we can say when our Father when the have died in battle for our country. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. Amen. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God bless you, and thank you for coming. Those of you who are home, God bless you too. Watch.